Hello and welcome back. I'm still here with legendary Fleet Street journalist Dom Short and we're just talking about his memoirs and we've made a couple of videos already so I'll put a link to those in the description box below. Um, I thought it'd be quite fun to do a quick Q&A things I want to... Okay. Far away. So of all the stars you've met, who's the one who most surprised you? Most surprised me? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, <laughs> I suppose, um, a Hollywood legend, uh, Robert Mitchum. Uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> when you get to reading about my interview with Robert, <laughs> my encounter with Robert Mitchum. You'll find out why. And you'll find out why, without any doubt at all. <laughs> and who would you most like to interview again? Difficult question, that. Um, Lots of people come to mind, of course. I quite enjoyed interviewing uh, Muhammad Ali. Mm. Uh, in, and, and I went to dinner at his home in Chicago, and he was great fun. Mm. Completely off the wall, it was wonderful. <laughs> and, well, of course, Elizabeth Taylor's now gone, but she was very good. Mm. And, and, uh, and so was Bridget Bardot, tremendous. So, yeah, I'm. I, I, and Roger Moore was probably one of my closer friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, I, when I managed Richard Harris, we were very close. And had, <laughs> <laughs> extra had extraordinary times together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he was, lived up to his reputation as a hellraiser. I'm taking mm -hmm. my word for it. Um, do you have any regrets? Um, anything you wish you'd done? Um, so I can ask the Daily you. Mail, when I was the syndication advisor. They wanted to uh, get me to New York quickly on Concord. And um, for some reason, I said, well, there's no hurry about this. I can't accomplish what you want to do overnight. So I took just the ordinary uh, 747 <laughs> <laughs> to New York. Mm. It took a little longer. I regret that. I should have gone should on Concord. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wish you had back then, like technology-wise, from today? Do you wish you had a mobile phone? I suppose because travel. That would, would be marvellous. Having a mobile phone <laughs> would be literally wonderful. So I know you're much more of a people person talking as opposed to an emailer. That yes, that's thing. true. Uh, <laughs> but I think that. Um, I think you move with the times. I think uh, you know I've come through the period of say sixty seventies and into the eighties, um, and I retired in, in nineteen ninety eight. Yeah. So I, I think I kept pace with it all. I remember when when I first saw a computer on my desk, um, I, I found great difficulty and had to invite yeah, younger technicians around me to uh, get me through. I think I think uh, a colleague. He was working with me at the time. Uh, I pressed the wrong button, and all the material I gathered went into cyberspace, oh, and, no. and we couldn't return, <laughs> We couldn't get it back. I spent most of the night trying to get it back onto the screen. Mm -hmm. So that was an early kind of christening of, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> of the computer for me. Although unfortunately, that still happens today. Yeah. Can you believe? Like. <laughs> yeah, don't press the wrong button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I always remember you. I remember like, you going to work and coming back home. And so, because in 1998, I guess, that was sort of. I guess we all started having email addresses and stuff back in, like. That was just the beginning of the cusp of sort of. Yes, that is. Not mm -hmm. Beginning of um, the email came into being. Mm -hmm. uh, and. and uh, Took away some of the... Yeah, it um, took you off the telephone, that's a certainty. A faster way of communicating. And also that person's out at the other end, when they come back to their offices or their homes, they've got an email there, mm. so they can pick up on it. Remember the title of the book this time? Yeah. Gotcha. Slight detail. <laughs> um, sorry, that's a badly phrased. I think that's... About it. Oh, one of my questions I wanted to ask. Oh, it's on the whole book. Yeah. So it's sort of. How so many pages is it, mate? Um, a 
about that, but that's very tiny font, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The woman sitting next to me on the plane, I wish I had a Kindle. She was sitting there reading a book and a Kindle. The font size was massive. Oh, yeah. It would be larger than some of them. Yeah, much larger and taller as well. I'm going to read through there. I'll copy this summer because I may as well. It's about, it's about, I reckon it's going to be about 250 pages. It's quite, be quite thick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Thick book. Yeah, they're perfume. Perfume, yeah. I wonder what that must have smelled like. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. Roger Moore and Carrie Grant made a perfume yeah. Yeah. themselves. And I, see. I wonder for women, I wonder what that must have smelled like. Yeah. So I do look at you, I do look at the camera. Uh, I think both, just a different oh, between the two of you. Okay. I, I don't know, I guess it doesn't really. Um, <coughs> I've got dry throat now. <laughs> Actually, I really wish this camera had a light on it so we could see exactly when it was recorded. Um, okay. We can do it a few times if you like. But I'll just, I'll just start by saying... <coughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I had no intention of uh, writing my memoirs, <laughs> uh, but my two uh, inspirational granddaughters persuaded me that I should, <laughs> and and here we are. They researched the book for me, and we put it together, and now we've got uh, the Beatles and beyond. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Yeah. What else was I wanted to ask? Okay, so that's so Judy Garland, your act. Will you give me over then? We'll go through the cuts again. Yeah, um. Sometimes yeah, we. Yeah, whenever we read. Okay. Yeah. But check our diaries, aren't we? Yeah. From the trade press, that was. Oh, real? I'll have to take a picture of that because I didn't like that piece I put in with the um, Newsweek quote. Yeah. Um. About what? Author for, you know, like I did for yes. the back of the book. I see. No, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, we're starting again. Right? If you like, we can do the next one. Do that again, or... Well, it wasn't very good, was it? That's a very YouTube thing to say, actually, I think. Um, oh yeah, sorry, one more thing. So you're going to have to really cut this out. Yeah, no, that's fine, Joy. Um, okay, so I'll say again. <laughs> yeah, real. Oh my gosh. So this is the... Look out of the Greek. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. That's, that's good. really good, yeah. Then, uh, yeah, I'm talking about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah good, 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 I like that quote. That was yeah. good. Um, actually, one of the questions I going to ask you. Um, we just had lovely coffee and cakes. <laughs> so if we're doing this vlogging, um, it would be like this. So I've got my phone here. Um, so press cord. And then this is us now, like video recording. Are you recording now? Yeah. So God, it's kind it's of. Like so old. I know. Well, no, no. I was saying, oh no, to you. I was saying, um, what's they saying? So. Are we okay? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> well. Oh. There we are. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's great. I'll try and see 